<laughs> President Biden's Department of Justice is reportedly concerned about the 2020 election audit going on in Maricopa County, Arizona right now. DOJ officials are now threatening to intervene and send its own monitors to the state. Let's check in with White House correspondent Emerald Robinson for the latest from Washington. Emerald. Hi, Bob. Well, the DOJ letter comes right after Democrats and Republicans in the state of Arizona actually reached an agreement, a, settle, a settlement in an ongoing legal battle the two had had in regards to that Arizona audit. But now the Biden Department of Justice Civil, uh, Civil Rights Division sending a letter to the Arizona State Senate President saying that they have a couple of issues and concerns. In the letter, the department says that they have reviewed available information, including new reports and, infor, uh, and complaints regarding the procedures being used for the audit. The information of which we are aware raises concerns regarding at least two issues of potential noncompliance with federal laws enforced by the department. Now, part of the news reports that they are citing is from the Washington Post. Ar Arizona auditors uh, say that they are in no way uh, uh, compromising ballot security. They also counter a DOJ claim that there could be uh, voting rights of minorities uh, infringed on, saying that is also not the case. Arizona is also saying that the Department of Justice does not have jurisdiction here, citing its own argument from November, saying that it is up to states uh, to manage their own elections. If you'll recall, uh, the DOJ declined to get involved in any of these questions about election, election integrity and any potential audits shortly after the November 3rd election. Senator Josh Hawley expressed his own concern concerns on national report on Newsmax this morning. I think it's interesting that DOJ seems to be getting more and more involved in inserting itself here into this situation. I think that we better watch that pretty closely. I, I don't know why anybody would be against making sure that the vote was absolutely accurate and then figuring out what voter reforms there need to be going forward. I mean, I don't know why an audit should, should be such a subject of concern, but it seems to be absolutely terrifying lefty groups all across the country. And, and there's been actually some breaking news in regards to the audit over the last couple hours. Uh, according to Just the News, jo uh, John Solomon is reporting that Maricopa County is refusing to turn over routers that were subpoenaed by the Arizona State Senate that were used in this 2020 election. Uh, Maricopa County saying that doing so would pose a risk, a uh, security risk to local law enforcement and several federal agencies. The Arizona audit, a liaison and a former Secretary of State Ken Bennett uh, replied to that uh, to that claim by Maricopa County saying that he has no idea what kind of security risk uh, turning these routers over that were uh, used for tabulators in the election, what kind of security risk that could possibly pose for the Maricopa, Maricopa County Sheriff's Department. Bob, Heather. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Emerald. We're going to talk a little bit Thanks. more about all of this right now and the DOJ's reaction to the audit in Arizona. Let's bring in former Naval Intelligence Officer and owner of Jordan Winery and attorney John Jordan. Thank you so much for joining us, John. You know, so, so the DOJ concerned about a couple things, but does it matter? Do they have jurisdiction? Well, this is bizarro land. Um, as was pointed out by your reporter, is the, your reporting is that states, per the Constitution, this isn't case law, there's no ambiguity here. The states have a right, an absolute right, to run elections themselves. Now, sometimes states, uh, there, there can be some violation of federal law, and there's some conflict there on occasion um, with regard, but, but here we're talking about an election that's already happened. Um, so there's no danger of anybody being disenfranchised. There's no implication whatsoever of federal uh, federal uh, access to ballot laws because the elections already happened. So there's no there's no reason for that. This is a cause celebre among the left uh, because they don't really want some of these issues delved into in case there was malfeasance, even though the elections in the past, because they this would undercut their case for HR one and their and their and their play to overhaul the American an electoral system. Uh, do you think they're being transparent enough about the process? And if not, do you think that would only help the results they come out with if they were more transparent? 
Well, yeah, I mean, this is why there was a conflict between Democrats and Republicans in the Arizona State Senate. This last breaking news bit about the routers is is truly a head scratcher. That's litigation being complaints being raised by the county of Maricopa, which is Democrat run. Um, saying it's necessary to protect the safety of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department. What is missing here is where is, if Mar if this implicates the safety of Maricopa County Sheriff's deputies, why is it the Sheriff's Department intervening? Why, Where is the Maricopa County Sheriff in all of this? Um, so it looks like they're trying to use that as an excuse to hide, to be able to prevent the routers, but doing so with giving a plausible excuse, hey, we're protecting the lives of law enforcement. But I'd like to see the Maricopa County Sheriff get out in front of that. Yeah, I how would the um, security of the sheriff's department be, uh, in, you know, impacted in any way by these routers? That's what I don't understand. Uh, that's not clear. I mean, obviously, potentially, there's a ways there's ways to get names and addresses. But what's really missing here, Heather, is a statement by the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department. This is being made by the county, the Democrat-run county of Maricopa. But there's no statement here, no allegation made by anybody employed by the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department. Do you have any idea what may come out of this, John, or what you would like to come out of it? Well, I'd like to come out. I mean, personally, I'm hoping it all comes back and the whole process was clean. I think every American wants that. But if it isn't, we need to know that. We need to know why and how. And, if, and so that we can address this in the future and address it in other states. But I think we, what everybody wants to know, what everybody wants here is certainty, um, regardless which way it comes out. All right, John Jordan, thank you very much. Uh, folks. Thank you for watching us every day, and you can take us with you on the app that we have. You can download it to your iPhone or Android phone. You can start watching it very simply. Mm -hmm. Just download it, then tap on it. It pops right up. You don't have to go through a subscription as you do to watch some other networks. Nope. It's Newsmax TV, and it's 100% free. Lots of folks are already using it. it. takes less than a minute to download it from the App Store. Uh, the app's been downloaded more than 7 million times and counting. And we know that you'll like it.